Resident Evil 4 is a game that holds a lot of secrets. It's no surprise that things still get discovered today, and that things that were once hidden are getting revealed. During the game, we navigate through plenty of small corridors and twisting paths, but there's a lot outside these areas too that we don't really get to see. The developers often left a lot of weird things laying around out of bounds. You'd never see these items because they're obscured, but they are certainly there. Sometimes there are large piles of money, sometimes there were large stacks of random sets of ammunition. Why these item stacks were put there can of course be argued. Some say they're simply there to test out different types of weapons in all the maps. Since you can replay through the game again, maintaining your equipment from a previous playthrough, this would make sense given that certain weapons normally weren't obtainable in these areas. Another reason why these item stacks could exist could be due to object pulling in the game's engine. It's easier to load these in when the map itself loads versus loading them in individually when they spawn. Object pulling can save on processing time in the game if for some reason this became an intense process. Outside of ammo, we can sometimes find duplicates of collectibles in earlier parts of the game. But not everything is so accessible. In fact, there's one treasure in particular that I've had my eyes on for a very long time. It isn't ammo, and it isn't an item you're intended to sell. It's a letter that's been buried underground for years, that up until this point, no one has ever obtained. This is the story of Resident Evil 4's mystery letter that has eluded players for quite a long time. So at the start of Resident Evil 4, we eventually get cornered in a house and grab ourselves our trusty shoddy. After defending our new home, the town clears out and we're free to explore around it. In the next area, we come across a small farm with some cattle. If we head out of bounds at this point with the no clip pack, we'll find the ammo and other items we described before. But below the level is a mysterious letter marked with the insignia we encounter multiple times throughout this game. But even with our no clip ability, we come across a major problem with this letter. The way Resident Evil 4 works is that Leon constantly moves on the plane he is on in terms of his Y coordinate. So if you are no clipping and walk off a roof, you'll maintain that same height as you continue to move forward. Nothing will change this height unless you initiate a command or encounter geometry that snaps you back down to a slope. It's pretty funny to float above an area and rain down fire from above, or doing the same from below ground, but this same concept is also what prevents us from obtaining the mysterious letter. After clearing the game the first time, I then went through the game again with Action Replay a year or so later. This was of course a code that could be utilized, but since there are no points lower than the ground in this area, we couldn't use it to get to the letter. So for over a decade and a half, this letter taunted us. That was until many years later, we found a way. Utilizing a new method that allowed Leon to change his Y position, we finally got down here, and walking towards the letter was such a gratifying experience. Until realizing that despite coming in contact with it, we couldn't actually do anything. It has no action command paired up with it, which is super strange since it's a glowing item that is deemed a collectible. So this is where the brainstorming begins. We tried adjusting our position back and forth vertically to see if at any point the object could be interacted with, but it never could. Every other iteration of collectible paper in the game can be read and collected. So what is the issue with this one? And this is where the task becomes super difficult, because it could be one of two answers. The first is the simple answer. We can't read the paper at all. And there is no way to do so because developers never add the functionality. And then there is the second answer. The paper and the action command for the paper are stored in two different areas. The only reason why this could potentially exist is because there are certain objects that exist in the game that are actually invisible. It's possible to climb ladders that don't exist, and many players have stumbled upon these. Leon can still climb ladders, but no ladder is to be seen. With that in mind, it presents us with a unique problem. Hypothetically, if this paper could be interacted with, but its interactive range is set elsewhere, that means we'd have to be standing somewhere else on the map to actually use the paper. And that makes finding this insanely difficult. More than likely, this is stored out of bounds and it could very well be at any Y value range. Meaning it could be out of bounds underground, or out of bounds in the sky, somewhere on this map. Having to line up the Y value of Leon just right to interact with it would be annoying too. Because if it does exist, it's possible to walk over it and not get an action command to pop up if we aren't correctly oriented with it. This same thing happens when Leon tries to use a door and he's not lined up with it. The action command will never show up unless our feet are actually at ground level from where this object is placed. 
So even if this paper's active range existed somewhere on this map, we'd have to be perfectly lined up with it to even use it, which makes this whole ordeal beyond a nightmare. So Resident Evil 4's hidden underground message will probably forever remain a mystery. It's taunted us for years, but with no real way to interact with it, it's difficult to pinpoint what it actually is. Is it just a duplicate message from elsewhere in the game? Is it a glitch collectible that would screw up your inventory? Who knows? We'll just continue to walk over it time and time again as we play through this awesome title until the end of our days. Hey everyone, Metamonger here on Horoscope. Just wanted to give Swankybox a huge thank you for helping out with the video and a few others you can find on the channel. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe right now because we have so many more awesome things to cover. Thanks for tuning in everyone, and we'll see you all soon. Peace.